good people of YouTube. How you doing, man? It's your boy, Architect Nice in the building, and we is back outside with another workout video. Now, it's a lot cooler out here today, and only because we've been dealing with so much rain the last few days, and it's supposed to be raining the rest of the week. But it's great. We need this, because it's been so hot. So, for all my defenders, man, all my defensive guys in in any team sport, whether it's football, basketball, lacrosse, soccer, it don't matter. I got I got a few tricks for y'all, man. So, so I got a few tricks for y'all. So it may help y'all with y'all performance a little. Just a tiny bit. I told y'all in the past. I told y'all that I played I played cornerback for Livingstone College football uh, back in 2008 to 2011, and over the years. I've learned so much about how to uh, about how to just become a better defender, not just in football, but in all sports. So today, I brought out some tennis balls to work on our hand-eye coordination. I brought some resistance bands to work on our mobility, and I brought out the speed ladder and the cone drills to work on our quick feet. And today, we have two specific workouts for each one. Now. There, now there are a lot more out there, but I just want to give y'all the basics of what, you know, of what all defenders should work on in most team sports and just hope that you guys learn, you know, hope that you guys learn something out of this and hope y'all, hope I give y'all a good show, man. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, so for this workout, we're going to work on one tennis ball and we're going to bounce 10 times with one hand on, on, on each arm. So we're going to bounce. 10 times with our right hand and then bounce 10 times with our left hand. Now we're gonna work on 15 times with one hand. So 15 times with the right, then 15 times with the left. Now, we're gonna go 20 times each hand. So we're gonna do 20 times with the right, then 20 times with the left. Now, we're gonna work on alternating. So we're gonna do 10 times each hand, but we're gonna alternate. Now, we're gonna do 15 times alternating hands. So we're gonna do 15 times back and forth for each hand. Now we're gonna do 20 times alternating each hand. And now next, we're gonna work on mobility increasing. So we got two separate workouts for this. So the first one, we're gonna wear the resistance bands on our thighs. So we're gonna have our resistance bands here. And what we're gonna do, cause we're gonna rise up 10 times each side. You want to make sure you guys rise up as high as you can 
with put this on your thighs. Alright, next we're gonna go all the way up to 15 on each side. This hurts right, like right in here, boy. I'm telling you. All right, next for the last set, we're gonna go up to 20 on each side. the resistance bands on my ankles now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go side to side we're gonna go all all the way across now normally when we do this we're gonna do uh we'll do this uh 10 yards there and then 10 yards back but since we're just in a, in a confined space right now i'm gonna go from from one end to the other now normally what i see when i see people do this they'll go here and like they'll like they'll put their feet all the way over and that's not how you want to do it because that's not how you play defense you want to keep your uh, you want to keep your feet shoulder width apart at all times so when you're going forward there where you're going you want to make sure that this feet stays here and you come back here stay, stays here come back here so you want you want to keep it so we're going to do this three times going back so we're going to go there and back that's one all right, so we're gonna do this three times, all right? Let's get it. too right as you're going back and forth as you're moving you always want to stay down like you always want to sit in the chair you always want to act like you are really pretending that you're doing whatever sport that you're playing you always want to be able to sit in the chair for a longer period for for long periods of time so you always want to practice how you want to play
Okay, now for the quick feet. I'm using both the speed ladder and the combs. All right, so first work I'm gonna do is, so matter of fact, I'm gonna have to show y'all. So, so if you see where the cone is next to the speed ladder, we're gonna start there. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna start from here and I'm gonna shuffle from this cone, from, I'm gonna shuffle from here to here. Then I come back and that's one. Shuffle here, then back, that's two. Now, after I shuffle from here, and then I, I shuffle, so after I shuffle to here, I'ma shuffle past, I'ma shuffle past this cone, and now I'ma do my speed ladder workout, I'ma do across from here. And then speed, pa and then shuffle past, that's one. So, so that's, that's that one going that way. And when we go back, when we come back this way, I'm gonna start at the cone next to the speed ladder and do the same thing. My reason for doing this is I want us to be able to shuffle quickly back and forth, back and forth, and be able to to really to really have quick feet going lateral movements. Cause you know, a lot of times playing defense, we have to move laterally. Defense is all about how quick, how quickly you can move laterally without opening your hips up. All right, so this is one of the reasons why we're doing this drill. I think it helps a lot with you staying square. Cause you know what, you know, as a linebacker, you gotta be able to move from sideline to sideline. As a cornerback, if you're playing press, you have to be able to, to stay in front of your man without opening your hips. So, you know, and you know, in and, and basketball, you have to be able to stay in front of the ball handler without opening your hips, given you know, given the wide open lane. So, and hell, and same thing with soccer and lacrosse. They have the ball, uh, they have the ball dribbling in their feet, and you don't want to get crossed up, sauced up, you know. So, I think that this drill is going to help very much with just being able to to stay square and just being able to move quickly laterally. All right, so. First set, we gonna go off to the, uh, off to the side. Alright, so if y'all see the cones, if y'all see five cones, alright, so what's gonna happen with this drill is you're gonna shuffle, so you're gonna shuffle in the middle, so you're gonna shuffle to the first cone, then shuffle back to the middle, then shuffle to the second cone, then shuffle back to the middle, then the third cone, then back to the middle, then on the fourth and last cone, you're gonna shuffle, and then you're gonna run past the first cone that you suffer to. If you notice, uh, you notice in my first set that I did all my shuffling going to the left first. So now we're gonna do this set going to our right first. So we're gonna start at this cone first, then work our way around and then on that and then on the last cone i'm gonna go around this cone and then run forward all right third set going to the left All right, last set, let's get it. That's a wrap, end of the video. Defenders, make sure 
that before and after you stretch stretch your hips stretch your hamstrings stretch your thigh muscles stretch stretch all your lower body and remember that playing defense is a want to you gotta have heart to play defense you can't just walk out there and act like you know how to play defense because a lot of people don't but well, make sure you guys drink drink plenty of water and work out work on your game perfect your craft man everybody thank y'all for watching and i'll see you next time